Hello everybody, this is Ricky from Ricky's Train Videos. Today I'm going to be going over how I made this custom Black River and Western Railroad coach car. In this video I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step pictures that I took during this project to show you how you can do it yourself if you so choose to do so. And also at the end of this video I will show you the completed car running around on a couple of layouts. The first step in this project was removing the shell from the chassis. After I did that, I took out the film that had the printed people on them, and I also taped the top so that the green paint would not interfere with the black paint that I would put on later. I also applied some tape and paper on the inside of the car so that no paint would seep in to the inside of the car. It's important to prime the cars because it makes all the colors the same and so there's no discoloration under it and if you're painting the car multiple colors like I did it makes it all the same base so you won't have any strange discoloration I purchased this spray paint off of Amazon and it was pretty fairly priced and it worked great and I still have some left over so I can do another project with it this is the paint that I used to paint with for most of the car uh, this is scale coat 2 pullman green i ordered this off of the internet as well and it was very easy to use and it came out great i recommend that you paint your cars in a well ventilated and warm place it cannot be any lower than about 65 degrees otherwise your results will not come out very good here is a picture of the cars right after they were spray painted. I did about two or three coats on different angles on the cars to make sure that all spots were covered and that also the paint was on evenly. In this picture I have the top of the car separated from the sides of the car with some tape and a raisin bran box. I did this so that the other paint going on top would not interfere with the paint that was on the sides. Here is a picture of the cars when the paint has been completed. In this next phase of the project, I move on to the inside and then decaling. The cars originally came with a film that is on the sides of the windows and has printed people on them, but I didn't really like that. So I turned to a 3D printer in order to 3D print my own seats. I did this by measuring the dimensions of the chassis and then 3D printed the seats with a 3D printer. This worked out great because I now had 3D seats inside of the cars that were only originally 2D. The lights are the same, but I did 3D print some holders for them so that they could be glued to the top of the car without being in the way of the other things. Here is a picture of the underside of the seats. What I did here was when I 3D printed them, I designed a little hole under the seats for some of the wires to go in. This was so the electrical contact from the wheels and the pickup rollers could be hidden underneath the seats and invisible to the naked eye. I then drilled holes in the back so the wires can go up and onto the roof of the car. After I applied people onto the seats, I put the shell back on and started the decals. The decals were custom made and I used Microsol and Microset to apply them. To make sure I was getting them as prototypical as possible, I looked at some photographs of the actual car and even took a ride on the Black River and Western Railroad to make sure I was making it as accurate as possible. Pictured here is the final car. For the next part of this video, I will show you the car running along some different layouts pulled by an MTH SD9 number 9581 and the custom made caboose.
Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you learned something about making your own custom car. If you have any questions on anything that I did in this video, or any model train or railroad related question, please post it in the comments below and I will do my best to answer it. If you have any products that you would like to see reviewed that you have seen on my videos and I have not reviewed, please let me know and I will certainly do that for you. Thank you all and have a great day.